EPA's so-called Waters of the United States rule is one of the worst examples of federal regulation, and it has truly run amok. I'm standing next to a bubbling brook in rural Pennsylvania. It's small enough to just hop over. The water's running downstream to a larger creek and into a larger river, the Delaware River, which provides 16 million people with drinking water. But this stream doesn't always run. Should this stream be protected like others? When Congress passed the Clean Water Act in 1972, it said the government would protect any waterways that were navigable. For most of us, navigable means big enough to float a boat. But over the years, the EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers felt protection was needed for smaller upstream waterways. The question was, how far upstream and how small? Lawsuits and legal rulings added to the confusion. In 2015, Obama's EPA tried to clarify which waters would be protected with the Waters of the U.S. rule. But there was a backlash from the oil and gas industry, builders and farmers. They said the small intermittent streams that don't run all year round were not in need of the same protections as larger creeks and rivers. Environmentalists supported the rule, saying these wetlands and small waterways are often nurseries for trout and frogs, and that in order to provide good drinking water, these upstream waterways need just as much protection from pollution as the larger ones.